Hi, my name is Stan. I'm an owner of Bible site gold-bible.com, which supports Red Cross and other charity organizations of around 90 countries by links on that site. My project has a Twitter. I have a Bible site. Actually, it was planned as a account for programmers. Hardly they appear few tweets and support of Red Cross and other charity organizations. I love American Red Cross because they help to the people over all the world. In my Bible site, almost each subdomain has a link to American Red Cross. Half a year ago, I left my country and started a journey in Latin America. I went to Buenos Aires and was stopped in first days. In the night when I arrived, I lost my recognized Holy Bible, Harry Potter book, cable from MacBook Air, textbook, Tesla, and camera. These things were in one packet. Soon I left the city. Then one night I spent in Montevideo of Uruguay, in bus station from where I moved to Brazil. I crossed that country from south to north by bus journey. Porto Alegre, Porto Velho, Manaus, Boa Vista, and Bonfim, where people gave me a mini house to live. From Bonfim, I went to Guyana. In Guyana, I saw that immigration police office is a gasoline station, and I just crossed border. Somewhere after 100 miles, they spotted that I have no entry stamp and from Georgetown deported me to Bonfim. In 15th July, I arrived to Venezuelan city Porta la Cruz, then Caracas and Cati Lamar. There, woman Yesenia helped and gave me a place to stay for a few nights. I was almost out of money. I had around 30 bucks, which were later stolen from my cold. I got stone burn on the legs and people called emergency. From hospital, their intelligence took me away. They thought that I'm an agent of Central Intelligence Agency. I spent a few months in the office of their building, then in their immigration policy. After almost half a year, they finally decided to deport me to Brazil. I'm here in Boa Vista now, waiting for last transfer from St. Petersburg to go to Georgetown of Guyana. They have an Anglican church. A few days ago, I even had no money here. I was asking people for meal. Thanks God, they helped me. Cubans were paying for meal in Cuban restaurant Sopa. Woman from travel agency Polly gave me some cash. And Hotel Posada Neta helped me with meal and internet. Working from this hotel sold me laptop just for 130 bucks. There is a Catholic church which gives meal for the people, so I am fine. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in that story, please give to this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.